Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about Alfredo Angulo against Eris Landy Lara. Now, you know, boxing, in my opinion, really does come down to styles, right? It's rock, paper, scissors, every fight. Certain things beat other things and then lose to other things, right? The one truth in boxing is that you could be the inferior technician. The other guy could have far more boxing ability than you. The other guy can have the hand speed advantage. The other guy can have the foot speed advantage. The other guy can have the greater ring generalship. The, the other guy can have the greater footwork, the ability to literally keep you turning, keep you looking for him, him being ready to always throw punches. The other guy can have the vastly superior defense where you come in his upper body is hard to find. He's doing things like having a shoulder attached to his chin so you don't know what to hit, right? He has a hand up. You go to the body. He has his hands down here. He could have every advantage in the book except one. If you have the punching power advantage and you're able to land that knockdown punch, you have a legitimate shot of winning the fight, right? Great power can trump everything else. Now let's talk about this fight. In my opinion, Eris Landy Lara has everything else, right? Simply put, he's the better fighter, right? Much better defense, hard to hit. He's reading you, right? He's not following a script. Rather, he's actually reacting to what you're doing. If you have your hands up like this and you're a bit sloppy, he can throw that straight left, he's a southpaw, right between your guard, right? If you then try to move like this to be a bit sloppy, he can then throw that left and have it hit the side of your head, right? If you put your hands up like this, he'll throw that left and hit you in the body with it, right? The first two rounds of this fight, he should have been charging Alfredo Angulo tuition because he was teaching him the sport of boxing, right? The counters were crisp. They were accurate. Quite frankly, he was beating up Alfredo Angulo after two rounds. Don't confuse aggression with effectiveness. Yes, Angulo's on his front foot. No question about it. But Lara, on his back foot, is able to just set up shop, get off crisp counters, then move, set up shop, get off crisp counters, then move, that straight left hand of Lara's was especially effective. Let me also talk about angles for a second. Lara moves away, he's at the side. So Angulo can't just take a step forward and find him. Angulo literally has to reset. So the two guys are together, Lara moves away, Angulo has to turn and try to move to him. And of course, you know what happens. As Angulo turns and is trying to move to him, he's walking into straight left hands, right? That's a guy playing the angles. Now, what does Angulo do? He runs over to Lara on occasion in straight lines. He's right in front of Lara, right? Lara knows exactly where to find him. Even when he has Lara up on the ropes, where is he? He's right in front of Lara, right? This is not a guy who, quite frankly, is in the ring trying to keep his opponent guessing. Now, Angulo's style is to overpower you, 
right? He's the fastball pitcher who's just trying to throw the ball past you right down the middle of the plate, right? He can't nibble at the corners, right? Arisandi Lara, by contrast, keeps you guessing. You don't know where he's going to be, right? You don't know when he's going to get out of his defensive shell and actually hit you with very well-placed counters, right? You don't know when he's going to start moving. He's not that predictable. I thought Lara took the first two rounds. Angulo likely took the third round. I thought the third round was close, but let's give it to Angulo. The fourth round starts. Understand that Angulo's best punch seems to be his left hand, right? He scores two knockdowns in the fight. Both are high left hooks, both of them, right? Lara goes down, Lara is hurt. He doesn't slip, he's hurt. He hits the canvas. As I said at the beginning of this video, power is the great equalizer. It levels the playing field. After Lara puts on a clinic, understand when you hit the canvas twice, you're down by four rounds, 10-8, right? Twice, you're down by four rounds. Let's add in the eighth round for Angulo, which I thought he won. That's five rounds for Angulo. I thought he lost the rest of the fight, right? But understand, this fight ended in the 10th round. So this was a competitive fight, right? Angulo, though, is not the boxer Lara is. Angulo's always going to have problems, in my opinion, against crisp counterpunchers like Arislandi Lara, right? Guys who could get out of the way and know what to do. Let me also point out that if these two were to have a rematch, and keep in mind, a rematch might not be possible anytime soon because there are reports that Angulo suffered a broken orbital bone. But let's say he doesn't have that injury. If these two were to have a rematch, I believe Lara wins by a wider margin because I believe Lara will figure out looking at replays that he should always have a hand up, his right hand, to block Angulo's left hook. The two knockdowns are really the result of sloppiness. The first one, Lara's throwing a left uppercut and drops his defense and Angulo comes right over the top of it. Okay, fair enough, right? What Lara should have done is pumped that left uppercut and kept his defense in place. The second time, as Paulie Malinaji noted on the telecast, Lara ducks under, then comes up without his guard, gets caught, right? I believe Angulo is easier to defense than Arislandi Lara. Because how do you defend against the guy who's setting up angles and who's as accurate as Lara is in this fight? I know Lara had to be at least over 40% in terms of his power punch accuracy. I'd be surprised if he wasn't around 50% uh, 50 with his power punch accuracy, right? So... If you believe that Saul Alvarez has a chance against Floyd Mayweather, this is the fight to watch, right? A power puncher with a left hook trying to smother a superior technical fighter with, quite frankly, the better physical gifts, right? Better hand speed, better accuracy, better coordination, better ring generalship, better technique, working off angles, right? Talent-wise, I don't think two guys were close. Either Lara, Angulo, or quite frankly, Mayweather, Canelo. 
I don't think I don't think either couple is close, but I'll can see that with two knockdowns in different rounds in this fight and with quite frankly an eighth round that I thought he looked inspired in. Right? Let's also give Angulo possibly the third round. You see that Lara, quite frankly, was in jeopardy of losing this fight in the 10th round. Right? Food for thought. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. I thought Lara looked good at times. But this is boxing, and when you get knocked down twice and you lose two other rounds, you're in trouble on scorecards. Let me hear from you. Thanks for watching.